container of cigarettes is worth 2.4 million US dollars. A factory in China can produce one container a week with the money they're going to raise from the IPO. They intend to open three factories. Do I need to ask you how much Rutledge intends to make in a year out of cigarettes? So, what's the catch? Well, we're on shaky ground as to whether it even goes through or not. Well, if you're looking to keep Marlon Rutledge's personal views under wraps, I think that train's already left the station. Hmm. No one cares about Rutledge's racist rants or his ultra-conservative political tangents. We're more concerned about his grandson, Earl. What about him? A few months ago, he was out in Xi'an on a tour. Long story short, one of the girls did not go back on the bus. A few of the tourists said that she was last seen with him. The local police took him in for questioning, but luckily he was released after a couple of days under pressure from the embassy. So what's this got to do with the IPO? Well, last week, they found where we think are her remains near the site. They're doing DNA tests now, but some enterprising journalist has already connected the dots between the grandson and the CEO. She wants to call a halt to the IPO until he's extradited to China to face murder charges. She'll kill the IPO price if she does. That's why it's critical that we keep her quiet. This is a huge account for this company, not to mention your bonuses. Honestly, we are maxed out on our workload. Liam, Liam, I do not like what I'm hearing. Hey, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Don't worry about it. We'll get to the bottom of it. Fantastic. <clears throat> hey, Liam, you still there? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I know. He's such a dirt rag. Hey, listen, uh, I can take this one for you if you want. No, no, uh, you got the last one. I'll set up the meeting. All right. Uh, usual tonight? Sure. Um, hey, thanks for covering me today. Hey, no problems. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Just need to take care of some long overdue errands. All right. I'll catch you later then, bud. Ciao. All done? I've got to go. How soon? I'm already late. Drinks later? I'll text you if I'm free. Beginning to think you weren't coming. And yeah, Miss Lau said you're late on the rent again? Tell her I'll have it soon. I took care of it. Liam. It's done. It feels like icicles in here. You feel better when your red blood cells are back to normal. How's work? It's all right. Going to be extra swap with a client. Mm -hmm. Which one? Rutledge Tobacco. A cigarette company? What do they want you to do for them? Usual. Build in for my time. Oh, don't work too hard. You should really move in with me. I don't remember that service apartment of yours having a second bedroom. Well, when my exit package runs out, we'll get a place with at least two bedrooms. Uh, we'll see. How am I supposed to meet anyone if I'm living with my baby brother? Well, the only reason he's never faced trial was because of his powerful grandfather. I don't think it's fair to speculate about this kid's guilt. He was the last one seen with her. All right, let's get down to this. The company is willing to offer you something in exchange. Oh. So, is this what you do? Sometimes. Oh my god, and you, and you think I am that easy? No, I don't think that, but I'm just trying to give you a viable way out. What if I don't want one? Come on, you're digging for something that may not even be true. What's there to gain? If they can get away with this cover-up, just think about what else they can be hiding. Listen, I know what you're trying to fight for oh, here. Oh, right, to you. Yeah, yeah, some big tobacco company, they're raising money for an IPO. They're gonna build some factories, maybe 
promote lung cancer, whatever. Oh, and, and it's okay to, to just use any means necessary to get what you want. Whatever you think. It doesn't change the fact that David doesn't win versus Goliath here. You know what? We'll see about that. You know, this Ms. has Ong. been a good meeting. Miss Ong, let's talk this out. What is there to talk about? You already said what you yeah, think. Yeah, and don't fault me for that. Let's say you write this story of yours. They're going to steamroll you and anyone you care about. Who's in the territory, really? Well, you know what? Then do me a favor. Get some concrete evidence first. Yeah, I sure will. Excuse me, I was here first. I'm sorry, I didn't... See me? Right, I've heard that one before. Wait! Great, now look what you did. Me? The cab stopped for me. Because you completely ignored me and walked in front of me. You know what? I said I'm sorry, Ed. Where are you going? Central. So am I. We can take the ferry. No thanks. Technically, it should be faster. I don't even know you. I can fix that. I'm Liam. Yan. You're not a creep, are you? Well, I did almost try to steal your cab. I'm kidding. I think it's this way. Hold out here. I should take this. Oh, now you want to be a gentleman? <laughs> Just take it. So you uh, normally on the dark side of Hong Kong? Kowloon? Really. I had this new client to me, and she insisted on TST. What a pain. Now I got to go all the way back to Central to catch my seminar. On what? Wines. Love wine. What's your favorite? Big fan of Riesling. <laughs> kind of a feminine grape. I used to go to this winery in upstate New York. It's got really great Rieslings. Did you pay it, Lisa? Ask Lisa. <laughs> Too sweet. I'm a late harvest Cabernet sort of guy. You? You got one? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Well, I do have this great childhood memory of a 1949 Bordeaux. It's an expensive bottle of wine. Uh, quite. 20, 30,000 honkies? At least. You must come from a rich family. <laughs> Hardly. So how'd you get a taste of one? Well, I was working for my uncle at his convenience store in New York. And somehow this bottle of Bordeaux got wrongly shipped to us. I've decided to open it, thinking no one will find out. Six months later, my uncle found an invoice. He was so angry at me. It took me two long summers to pay for it. That's a long time to pay for one bottle of wine. Mm. Worth every cent, if only for a short time. So, uh, you're from New York? Originally from Shanghai. Mm. Oh, I forgot how beautiful it is on a ferry. Thanks for making me take it. It was nothing. So, I'm surprised someone so well dressed would take public transportation. Oh, it's good exercise and cheaper. <laughs> Shitty etiquette instructors don't make enough. There's an open mic this weekend for uh, stand up comedians. I'm gonna sign you up. So, what do you do? Yes. Well, you look like one of those guys I see at the gym. Really just about beating their time every day on the treadmill, even though most of them plateau months ago and one minute to themselves. I hate running. Then how do you keep fit? Ride the bike. You ride? Actually, I don't know how to ride a bike. Oh, how come? I never had a chance to. So, you're not a doctor. Why, you don't look like you can save some lives? Well, you're definitely not a model. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. OK, OK. Something finance related. Not too far off, but this is Hong Kong after all. Lawyer. Something like that. Oh, you poor thing. What, wouldn't be a lawyer at least semi-impress you? Depends on what kind of lawyer you are.
Well, it was a pleasure. You too. I'll see you. Yeah, see you. Toby, can you hook me up with uh, a few more of those mind-blowing shots that I love so much of Spectrum Prims? Speak of the devil. There he is, Liam. Hey, oh, my God, you missed the dog show. John just got punched in the face by a chick. What? What happened? Yeah, well, somehow he got into an argument with her about whether or not her titties were real. And? Well, so he grabs them, and then, boom! <gasps> Where is he now? He's in the can trying to stop a nosebleed. Oh. I believe this chick every minute incessantly texting me. Check it out. Jeez. Not bad, huh? Yeah, not bad at all. What happened to that, uh, that girl Jade that you were with last night? She had plans. Oh, that's too bad. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought you were kidding. Oh, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> You're right there, Padre? I'm fine, I'm fine. Ooh. I don't like it's still bleeding. Ah, uh, I think you're okay. What happened to that reporter you were talking to? Hey, I told you, we come here to forget about work, not relive it. Hold on, we gotta document this. Excuse me, miss. Hello, Hello you are a looker. <laughs> you mind taking a picture of my friends and I? Yeah, sure. My name is Chad, by the way. Teresa. Teresa, you are just lovely. Thanks, bro. Just press this button. That's all you have to do, sweetheart. Okay, say cheese. Bloody fucking nose. She went to local school here in Hong Kong and then attended university in KL, joined the Peace Corps afterwards, and then decided journalism was her calling. Mm, girl must be loaded. I mean, who could uh, make a living off of being a journalist nowadays? She seems to scrape by in her earnings. What else you got, John? She's got this little boy she's fighting for custody over. And? And I know the judge, so we could put in a call. What about the Grants and Earl? I have some friends who know him. Turns out he's a complete douchebag. But killer? I'm not so sure. How about the DNA testing? Last I heard, it's gonna be done in several weeks. Doesn't the test take only a few hours? According to her expert, yes. But they have to run independent profiles in each set. In order to do that, they have to replicate the entire DNA sample. And there's several methods for them okay, to okay, do that. Okay, yeah, well, we get the picture. It's actually much more extensive, but it's good for a case. Oh, and the test? It's at the very bottom of a very long queue. Maybe that's better. It'll definitely be done before the IPO. Uh, a lot of things are gonna be done before the IPO. More delays? Boss says they're rebelling his shares higher now. How much longer are we talking? I'm thinking uh, nine, maybe 12 months longer. So did we get the account from them then? No, all he's still chasing. Fuck. Guys, if I could outline the scenarios, please. The way I see it, there's two options. One, we get her tied up in this child custody battle. Or two, we cut her loose and hope that she doesn't publish the story. <laughs> 
Yeah, this bitch uh, writes a story and we're all fucked. Yeah, I say we call the judge and distract the shit out of her. We can't do that. Why not? Because... Because what, you going soft to me, Liam? How many of these cases have we handled before? Look, she means well, and I just don't see the point in messing with a kid's chance of having a mother. Who fucking who? I don't give a rat's ass about her, all right? I know who I care about. It's you and it's John. We're a team, and we're gonna end up in unemployment body bags if we cut this bitch some slack. <laughs> you know, Oliver made it very clear how important this case is. Without the DNA confirmed, she's got nothing? True. No hard evidence, no story. But we could wait until the DNA evidence is confirmed. Your case, your call. I'd like to wait. I mean, what, it's been about a month? Maybe she's moved on? Fine. But for the record, let me tell you this. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I've seen this before. This scenario is not going to end well. You too. So, uh, you want to speak to me about something? I should just go ahead and say this. I'm pregnant. When did you find out? A few weeks ago. And you're just telling me now? I had to check in with a couple other people to make sure it was you. You're sure about this? The doctor says that I'm 12 weeks. I was the most reckless with you. She should more careful, but... I'm willing to make this work between us. This isn't an open discussion. Sorry? I'm taking care of it. What are you talking about? Do I have to spell this out to you? An abortion. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. God. Wait. You didn't... No. You didn't think that I was going to use this... God, I am not that girl. You and I have fun, but I'm so not ready to settle down. And no offense, but I can do better. Thanks for being honest. Don't take this personally, but my girlfriend, Julie, found a guy who takes her to Paris just to shop champs Lycée. It's champs Elysees. What? Never mind. Look, you're just not in that league. And I know I have the looks to find someone of that caliber. So what do you want from me? Um, just 50,000 honkies should get it done. I hope that's okay. An abortion costs that much? Well, I'm gonna treat myself to a new handbag that I've been eyeing afterwards. It'll make me feel better while I recover. Anything you need. jewelry store and this is Jan and her boyfriend Mitchell. Mom, Mom, you've got to take this out. Excuse me everyone. Emily, come on. I'm Liam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we've uh, we've met before, haven't we? Yes, uh, and I've a few cases I'm afraid. Of course, a New Yorker, Rifkin, Burnett and Associates, right? 
Remind me, which law school did you go to? It wasn't Yale, Penn, or one of the top ones, was it? Some might say the Harvard of the proletariat. The what? Rutgers Law in Newark. I've never heard of it. What's a proletariat? It means wage earner or laborer. Uh, oh. You know, uh, I think I was interrupting the conversation. I'm just going to... Sure. Oh, no, no, no. Please, please. We're just saying that if the mainland had marched into Hong Kong instead of making a deal with the British for the handover, I mean, what's to say it wasn't our right? I was making the point that China did a deal with the international community. Not only would there be massive uproar here in Hong Kong, but every single country around the world which has an agreement with China would have no guarantee they're going to keep it. What do you think? I hate politics. Better I don't No, know. actually, I'd quite like to hear your opinion. That's, if you've got one, of course. <laughs> well, I think, uh, since you put it that way, I think you're being, what's the word, slightly presumptuous? Not to mention you are regurgitating Margaret Thatcher's argument off Wikipedia. I'm sorry. Go on. Um, well, thanks Joe Peng, he could have marched in Hong Kong in a day, but what's the difference if China gets Hong Kong now or 100 years from now? See, he settled because it'd be less time and money, and eventually China would get what it wanted. But that's not the real issue here, is it? It's not? No, of course not. This is a question of national sovereignty. See, who are we Americans or any other country to challenge a country taking back what's originally theirs. I mean, that's like challenging Abraham Lincoln over the Civil War. I'm gonna get some warmer air. Yeah. You've got a real flair for ending conversations. Sorry about that. Don't be. Mitch can be quite pretentious. Sometimes you divorce your real opinions from your work life long enough, they come rushing out of you like a drop of a hat. Why have a job that requires you to do that? I couldn't think of a profession that paid well enough, so I went to law school. Tell me something, I thought you didn't date lawyers. I never said that. Besides, you never asked. You're right. I should have. Why didn't you? I was planning to, but you got in the cab too fast. <laughs> <laughs> too late. You did send me away. Anyways, you have a boyfriend. Mitch? Oh, no, he's not my boyfriend. He's not? We'd be on a few dates. Why didn't you correct Olivia? I think this is where I said I plead the fifth. Are you hungry? Mm, I'm famished. I'm surprised you have such an admiration for a confirmed communist. Well, it's not Joe and Lai's ideology I admire. It's his ability to maneuver through such tough times. My dad used to say this old Chinese proverb, Nothing is softer or more flexible than water, yet nothing can resist it. I knew who also said that. Who? No. Bruce Lee. Do you like water, my friend? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Aren't those garlic shrimps to die for? Make sure you drink more beer so you don't get a run later on. I was about to say, I did feel a rumble in my tummy. Ew. Good thing we didn't order the Roy oysters. Oh, that no, was so good. I'm so glad we left the party. <laughs> totally, and I'm full. I am really full. Thanks for walking me home. I was gonna say, actually, can I use your toilet? Because my stomach does not feel so well. <laughs> Nice try. Didn't you just go? I'll only take a minute. It'll be really quick. Oh, I thought you last longer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks for tonight. Yes. 
sleeping with you tonight. Then I have a slight chance then. <laughs> a very small one. Good night. Keep going. All right, I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna no, let no, go. No, 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 don't, don't, okay. don't, no, 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 no. Yeah. What I do? Good, good. No. She laughed at me. I oh, think she did. Oh, look at her gonna, go. Oh, no, 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 she's gonna show no, off. No, don't come over here. She's gonna no, show off. Oh, here she comes, here she comes. Oh, wow. There's Great all. job. Can't believe they laughed at me. That could be you. That could be you You're a dick. You're a dick, you know that. wandering the hallways of my dad's hotel. I remember pressing my ears up against the doors, listening to the conversations. If they were completely silent, it'd be as if I was in the room. Then dad would quickly pull me away and say, what are you doing? You're scared of customers. <sighs> Quite the businessman. <sighs> he knew how to run things, that's for sure. He's always been very driven. Kind of like you. Me? Yeah. You'd be good at running a business. No way. The only thing my dad was good at was running things into the ground. Well, I met a lot of businessmen through my dad. And the ones who fell are the ones who give up too easily. You don't seem like the type. I'd never stop chasing you. <laughs> Even if I kept going on about things? I'd take you out every night just to hear you babble about the virtue of silence. <laughs> That's kind of ironic, isn't it? from a glass. Sorry. Hey! Perfect timing. Okay. You got something oh, for you? I'm allergic to roses. Oh. present how sweet uh, you can be so silly sometimes you know that I told you she doesn't like presents I can't go empty-handed well what is it you'll see <sighs> what do you think you look like a night box <laughs> you're not just saying that are you she's gonna love you I hope so 
Can I just have a couple more minutes? Yeah, I'm sure. Just a second. Hey! Hey, hey. Sis. Yeah, it's my sister Elaine. <laughs> Great to finally meet you. Come in. This is for you. Thank you. I hope Hot Pot's okay. Yeah, I love Hot <laughs> Need some help? That would be lovely. That, Liam, can you set up the burner for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, where is it? It's in the plastic bag by the sofa. This is your dad? Yeah. Really? Chen Weinian? That's your Chinese name? Mm, yeah. William, Liam. Mom started calling me that after uh, people started getting confused. Just kind of stuck. The burner? I'm just gonna quickly get some more gas because they were out. How are you at chopping vegetables? I can try. It's great that Liam has family here. Yeah, we're lucky to have each other. Do, do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Oh, it must be hard not having a brother or sister to depend on. Did you see any of your family at all? Mostly my dad. He's not really close to any of his siblings at all, so it's mostly just us. Oh, an introvert. Oh, he's got lots of friends, girlfriends, I should say. And he's married to his business. What kind of business? Hotels. How do you get into that? Well, after the Cultural Revolution, he went back to Shanghai and started one. Surprised you're not any better uh, in the kitchen for having a hotel. Uh, are you done with that? Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. Here, uh, why don't you take this to the other room? Okay. Sure. you choose between learning wine or cooking, I chose wines, as you can see. What college? Cornell. Well, that's a good school. Liam really wanted to go there. Imagine, if he had gone, you might have met him there. Yeah, he's quite a smart guy. Why didn't he? Did Liam ever tell you the story how he came home from law school and surprised us for Dad's 60th birthday? No, he never told me that story. He had worked the graveyard shift in the library all semester long to afford airfare. When he got here, he just came in and went to Dad's desk and put a letter on him. It was from Stanford. He was one of 11 transfer students that year. Of course, he couldn't go because we couldn't afford the tuition, but he wanted Dad to know that he could go anywhere he wanted. It must be reassuring to know that you have a family business to take over when your dad's ready. Not really. Are you kidding? I don't know. I think I have some say about the direction of my own life. All I'm saying is that it's an amazing opportunity that a lot of people don't have. Don't you think I know that? They're all out of gas refills. <sighs> this induction plate, great. Heats things up real fast. I hope it doesn't make our food radioactive. It's not radioactive. It's what you don't see that kills you. Well, what did you guys talk about while I was gone? Nothing really. We were busy preparing the food. Here's to my two favorite women getting to know each other.
yet. She's going to be really stuck in her ways, but she means well. She certainly knows how to speak her mind. Well, ever since she started on those meds, she just says whatever. She can really piss me off sometimes, too, but I just have to keep reminding myself she's my sister. Sometimes I wonder what you'd be like if you had a brother. I wonder brother and sister does have his advantages, but being an only child can be pretty cool, too. Hey. You alright? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? I haven't told you everything there is to know about my father. Sounds like a decent guy. Went to a hotel, right? Well, not just a hotel. A bunch of hotels. A bunch? Like what? Two or three? More than that. A lot more. You're not some Paris Hilton in China, are you? Holy shit. When I left, he made it clear that he expect me to be home within a year to help him run the business. That's really serious. I know, and I always thought I would tell him I was staying if I wanted to. It's just some of the things that your sister said. What'd she say? Well, just how dedicated you are to your father. Oh, you feel like... come on, that's not the same. Why not? Yeah, my father went bankrupt, then worked all of his life to get us back to even. He died even before he got the chance. No offense, but your father's doing just fine. His only child. So? What's that got to do with it? My mom found out she was having a girl. She wanted an abortion. And he stopped her. Back then, we couldn't afford two children. It cost an arm and a leg in fees to raise an extra child. And he's a good man for that, okay? But that's his choice, not yours. After I was born, seeing me just sickened her. But his love never changed. Don't I owe him something for that? Not your whole life. I understand what you're going through, but you cannot be held hostage by something you have no control over. I'm sorry. Hey, I love you. I just don't know what I'd do without you. Maybe you guys can meet? Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> what? Did you pick up your phone? I'm sorry, I was asleep. What did you say to her, Elaine? To who? To Yan. You must have said something, because now she's freaking out about her dad. I, what? That nothing, really. You, you're sure it was I, nothing? I said what a great opportunity it is to have a family business that's doing well. That's it? Yeah, I, I, I talked about you and dad a lot. Like what? Like, like, good stuff, like how devoted you are to him. <sighs> Give me a break, Elaine. With what? I didn't say anything bad. Jeez, God knows I could have. What? Oh, come on. It's not like I don't know you're not the most traditional of lawyers. What do you mean? They, they, most lawyers, they sit at a desk all day. They push papers around. You, you're off at meetings, God knows where, on the phone, talking cryptic, shady stuff. Come on. I know how to read between the lines. Hey, we do what we got to do to get the clients, yeah, OK? Well, that's just that's just how it is. Well, maybe it's time to get a new job. You know, I find it slightly ironic that you're shooting on the same job that's putting a roof over your head. No, I never asked for this. Damn it. What do you expect me to do, huh? You're my sister. I destitute than see you become some sort of degenerate. You fucking bitch. What? what dare you? No! You what? You pay a couple months rent, you fill my pillows every so often, and you think I should be all grateful? I don't care if you would you would dad wasn't there. I watched dad when you were off at school. No! I don't owe you no. anything! I don't owe you fucking anything! No. What was it? I don't owe you this shit! Get the fuck out! Fine. Go!
darling. The acidity is too much for daddy. Oh. No, no, no. Dad, this is Liam. Hi. Liam. Hello, Liam. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Hello. Baijiu. Get some baijiu. Dad, they only serve wine here. Nonsense. They serve baijiu everywhere. Uh, this is for you. Chocolates. I don't eat sweets, but uh, huh. thank you all the same, huh? Uh, very kind of you. Yeah, and didn't tell me. I should have on a diet. Oh. oh, actually, I was trying to impress this girl next time she visited. But you know how difficult it is to get her to come home, huh? Huh? Come on. Sit down. Come on. It's so wonderful to see my little daughter with guests. Ah, here we are. Liam, is it? Yes, that's right. There we go. Let's drink to um, happiness. Your happiness. Cheers. Cheers. Good. That's good. <laughs> oh, splendid. Well, we ordered some courses ahead of time, if you don't mind, because uh, I was really hungry. Right. We've grown this chain from here to more than 20 locations. We're looking at building a headquarters in the city in a few years' time, if they let me. Dad! Well, I do need someone to look after the relationship, right? I'm sure in time it'll work out. Yeah, I'm sure in time it'll all work out. In the meantime, another shot. No, 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 I'm sorry, I can't. Eh? Liam's not used I to I insist. Him. Come on. Cheers. Ah. Then tells me you work in the law. Yeah, that's right. You like it? It's a good living. I'd be foolish to complain. Never regret anything you do for your family, Liam. Sorry? Then tells me you look after us very well. For well, that, I appreciate. Well, I hope to save enough to do something else. Why? Isn't being a lawyer a good profession? Ah! Hey, Sam, Sam! Hey, 不好意思,我知道。哎,說什麼話,沒事沒事,坐下。啊,一起。Yeah. is my boyfriend Liam. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Listen. I'm sorry you cannot give me short. But we have important business to discuss. Do you da mind? Dad! No, Leo, it's fine. you should stay. Really, I didn't mean to break things up. No, 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 it's not a big deal. You guys do what you need to do. I'm only here for a few days. And the Senate here has been opening doors for us. Please, you know what? Dad. Let me take care of dinner. I got it, I got it. You sure? I'm sure. Well, I hope to see you again, sir. OK. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. It's okay, dear. Spend some time with him. We got some business to discuss. Okay. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Go. Oh.
Not your home. Go back to sleep. How'd it go? Your dad must have been raving about me. Of course he was. I knew it. It's only a matter of time before I went over. We both got some money. We can buy a little vineyard in Brazil and like make our own wine. Opening opinions, tough business. Who cares? At least we can be together. I don't have to care of my sister. Besides, so between here and France, still away from your father. Finish the song and I'll be yours if you'll be mine. I watch you move. Across the room, I watch the light begin to shine. That's my old toothbrush. And you start to clean the sink.
I just got the verbal yes from Rutledge. The firm's very happy with you, gentlemen. Awesome. Happy anniversary, babe! Happy anniversary. <laughs> They're beautiful. I hope you're not allergic to these. Oh, I love them. I have something for you. Close your eyes. Okay. No picking. <laughs> Please be in lingerie. Oh, gosh, shut up. <laughs> What could it be? Okay, open your eyes now. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. This is the best present ever. Really? Yeah. When can it be ready? A few weeks to set it and size it. I think she's going to love it. I'll take it. Great. Shit! Ah, uh, shit! What are we gonna do? Did the DNA results even come back? Uh, they're in a long queue, according to John. how the hell did this... I don't know! All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'll just, uh, I'll just say it was my fault. No, no, no. It's my fault. Hey, if you I'll take the blame, they're gonna fire you. I've been here longer. They can't fire me. Oh, this, they will. Fuck. It's all over. Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's it's my fault. She just... Yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. I told Chad that it's completely under control. Okay. Well, the IPO is postponed and we've lost the account. Liam, I got the DNA report back from our expert, and I am. Uh, babe, <laughs> would you mind giving us a second? Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't know how you scored that, but uh, nice job. Focus. Sorry, I was saying uh, I got the DNA evidence back. Now you got the results back, so what were they? It doesn't match. So then why would Maggie write the article then? I know, I mean, I'm sorry, Liam. I, I, it's completely fucked up. It shows that it's a 2 to 3% probability, at most. I mean. I'm a 2 to 3% probability. She's got nothing. Her, her whole article? It's bullshit. Fucking bitch. Fuck. She has no case. 
I don't understand what she's trying to do. Hello? Oh, no. No, I understand. Yen? 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 You all right? <laughs> My dad just had a heart attack. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Is he all right? <laughs> Did we do a stunt or bypass surgery? <laughs> Not sure. I'll pack some things and I'll come with you. You should stay here. You sure? I'll be fine. You have a lot of work ahead of you. <laughs> Don't worked. But they're saying quadruple bypass in the next eight weeks after he's stronger. There's six months rehab. The mom to my eyeballs handling all the work from the hotel, taking over his responsibilities. Is there someone who can take over for you eventually? Take this one step at a time, okay? Oh, I gotta go. All right, see you.
I am so excited for you. Thanks. See you. Bye. We just need you to sign there. And you'll be pleased to hear you'll be getting six months worth of salary for the six years of service you've given. In exchange, we'll just need you to sign this non-disclosure agreement there. Thanks. You should take a vacation or something. Plan to. I just heard. What the fuck, man? What is this? What are you trying it's to do? Fine. It was my fault on the case. I should take the blame. Oh, come on. Really? You would have done the same thing. Hell, if I didn't do this, I would have taken your head off, right? Oh, you do not know that. We could have let it play down, and then maybe together we could have... Chad, know. if I'm not here and I'm gone, you're safe, right? No, we burn together! It's already done, buddy. No, it's not done. I, can go I already signed right? the papers! It's not papers. You yeah. motherfucker! You asshole! Chad, they gave me six months, okay? That's plenty of time to get back on my feet. I'll go live in China with Yan or something, all right? Fuck you! You fucking asshole, I hate you! You could have talked to me about this first. You should have talked to me about this first. Fucking cocksucker. Fuck! It's gonna be a long time. I'm getting married. What? To who? To Shen? I don't have a choice. Oh my god. Of course you have a choice. If you knew what kind of pressure our company is under. You can't possibly love him. Do you? Do you? What does it matter, Liam? It's the most important thing. Do you love him? Do you? It's an easy question. Answer the question. Do you love him? I don't know. Do you love him? 
You don't love him? Do you love him? Oh my God, do you love him? Yes or no, do you love him? Yes! Are you happy now? Fucking no. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Come on, man, I'll kick this door in. I'm serious. Come on! It's open! So it was open. Jesus. You're a wreck. Would you put some uh, pants on, will ya? And, uh, Liam, I never got a chance to, uh, this is hard, to say thank you. I know you meant well. Well, I figured, uh, I figured when you said fuck you, an asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you kind of deserved it. <laughs> How's that, uh, lovely girl of yours? Oh, uh, let's just say that, uh, she's not coming back. Sorry to hear that. Really, I am, because, uh, I kind of liked her. She's all right. You know, I've been, uh, thinking about things. You know how many of these, uh, situations that we've handled over the last five, six years? There's a hell of a lot of bullshit. Now your hands are completely washed of it. Hell, I don't even know why you joined the firm in the first place. Because of its prestigious name. <laughs> you know, when I first met you, I thought that for sure, you would quit, move on as soon as you found out that we're just a bunch of chimney sweepers for rich people. Yeah, now I gotta find a whole new set of chimneys, huh? 
You fucking kidding me? Completely serious. Why don't you open your own business or something? Or at least do something that you're passionate about. Why? I would have perfectly been happy being your wingman, no, 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 but I no, fucked no. that fuck up. Fuck you. Fuck you. Do not say that. You don't want to be like me. I know a million guys who would kill to live the lifestyle you do. Hey. I am not guilty about that, OK? I feel not an iota of guilt about that, because I worked my ass off all my life. I was a valedictorian, you know, and the prom king in high school. I went to Harvard Law, thinking that I could change the world. I had 10 offers coming out of school, one of which was for the district attorney's office of New York City, prosecuting criminals. Why don't you take it? Because it was too much of a fucking chicken shit to take the pay cut. My parents, uh, they were back home running a deli, trying to save money. For me, it kills me sometimes. Uh, maybe I'll be making uh, a lot of money and be a little bit richer in 30 years. Or somehow, somehow I'm going to always wonder what my life would have been like if I had taking that job. Made my parents proud. Made me done something fucking good. Listen, man. Having you as my wingman and all, it's great. But honestly, Honestly, you have way more potential than you've ever given yourself credit for. If you just promise me, promise me that you just grow a ball sack and do something with it, something, and I don't care what after this. Just fucking go out there and do something, okay? Oh, yeah, we just, uh, we just lost out, I guess. Hong Kong. Place or something, huh? And one of us was waiting around for no one else. And I had enough, I guess, for now. With a break on the balance, but too little to wait.
Hi. Hi. Come in. Thanks for having me over on such short notice. Sure. This is my godfather, Albert. Pa, this is Liam. Hey. This is Liam, ma. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, he lost most of his hearing from his throat cancer. Can I get you something to drink? Water would be good. How about tea? Sure. My godfather he used to be a genius writer. Thank you. Liam, I'm completely prepared to face the consequences of my actions. Um, I know I, that you got I didn't fired come here. and that you're no longer there. Well, I, okay, no, I'm sorry. No, I, didn't come here I think to this talk is about better. That. That's not that's not why I'm here. Then I've replayed a lot of what's happened in my head and I don't blame you. Especially now, it's a lot clearer to me. See, I've never been comfortable about some of the things I've had to do for my clients. So, I just want to say I'm sorry. Oh. If I could just ask one question, though. Sure. You could have been crucified by the firm. Why'd you risk it? When I was writing the story, of course I was terrified. But then, one day, I was watching TV, and I just could not pay attention. I realized I hadn't been able to do anything since I put down the story. And then, I got angry at myself, because I didn't even have the courage to go after something that I really believe in. Lim? Thanks for the tea, Maggie. Shay,啊，李爷吗？是李刚的女儿吗？是。您是哪位？我是她的好朋友。她现在在医院。她没事吧？我可以把她的地址给您。好。谢谢。Hi, Liam. 
didn't expect you to drop by, but come in. Baby, you're unlike Kanye. I should come back. Now, I'll give you a few minutes. Doing here? I don't know anymore. He's about four hours old. What's his name? We named him.谢谢谢谢阿九伟莲我不觉得他是一个亲人还是朋友但是我觉得他是一件生命就一个很重要的人的名字是是好一切都好啊大家再见再见我站在等你哦不错不错再见再见先生接下来我们去哪里你决定好的你决定 You must be Liam. Yeah. Yeah, hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm Malcolm. Please, come on in. Honey, who was it? Oh, it's Liam. Hi, Liam. You guys met? Yes, of course. Uh, you guys, you know, I was just heading out to do some errands, so why don't I just leave you be? Elaine, honey, anything I can get you? No, thank you. Liam? It's a pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you. This looks great. I threw some stuff out. How's the end? Do you want to get some air? 
Test results back. And? They're good. They're really, really good. Did I ever tell you you're the greatest sister? You will always be my baby brother. you move across the room I watch the light begin to shine your heart looks it looks for mine and I will wait till you find Be close 
So take your time and I will wait till you find me. I'll be yours if you'll be mine. We'll figure out the cost. You'll be mine.